Hello and welcome to the first video of 24.2 lecture on the urinary system. I'll first cover the uh, general sort of gross anatomy of it. As soon as I get the next slide, there it is. All right, so here we are. Uh, it all starts in the kidneys. You have two of them. They're, so they're paired and they're embedded in your, sort of your lower back. Uh, they're really kind of wrapped in there. They have uh, three layers that exist outside of them pretty much that attach them to the body wall and also protect them. The outermost being what's called the renal fascia. So it's kind of a connective tissue layer that kind of sh like that 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 uh, protective packaging that you'll get on on packages that wrap around the outside or like Tyvek house wrap, that kind of thing. And then you've got this perirenal fat capsule just inside of that, which is for cushioning. And then a fibrous capsule that's tightly wrapped around the kidney itself, which not only provides some support, but also protection from infection. Once you get inside the kidney, uh, you've got the cortex, which is going to be the outer region. So here's the cortex, this little sort of wet, this little uh, stratum right here, this layer, I guess, right? So there's the cortex, the capsules on the outside of that. Uh, the cortex has a few things. Make sure when I talk about the cortex or talk about the nephrons and stuff later that you associate where these things are in the kidney, right? So you'll see this stuff and try not to, I've been talking to a lot of students in the last few days, try to connect all the topics across these different slides. So from one screencast to the next, you're going to have stuff that refers back to the previous one or refers forward. So get yourself some note, you know, flashcards and make yourself some of those and try and connect all the ideas. All right, anyway, sorry, kind of de deviated. Cortex, the outer region. Uh, this is where filtration takes place, and there's a couple of other things that take place there too. Uh, the medulla, which is deep to that, so it's deeper in here. This whole region right here is the medulla, and the medulla includes these little inroads of the cortex, and these are called renal uh, columns. And then you've got these triangular looking guys right here, which are called renal pyramids. It says renal medulla but the medulla is the whole thing, right? So that each of these little wedges is a pyramid with the whole thing being medulla. And lastly, you have the pelvis, which is the central region. It acts like a funnel. So the, the pelvis is this middle bit, and then the exterior portions of that funnel are called calyces. So this is a minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx, major calyx, uh, pier, uh, sorry, pelvis and then exit out through the ureter. The blood vessels that uh, perfuse the kidney, um, first of all, just this number here at the top, over 90% of them. So over 90% of the blood that goes into a kidney ends up going into capillary beds that are up here in the cortex. So all of the, cap well, 90% of the capillary beds of the kidney are located out in that cortical region and that's where you're going to have uh, the first step of urine production called filtration take place. The blood vessels here are listed over on the right so you do have to know the sequence. Uh, you'll have to identify them visibly in lab unless you already have, probably already did. Their weeks are a little bit off. But just know the sequence here, right? They're all the same except for you'll notice that there's only one guy missing. The uh, vein, there's no segmental vein. So it goes aorta, renal artery, segmental artery. If you're coming back over here, it's going to be like renal vein, inferior vena cava. This would be segmental, but it's not there. Um, confusingly, some books do include it, but uh, I'm not going to, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to ask you to tell me about the vein. If you leave segmental off, it'll be okay. Or put it on, it'll be okay. In any case, know this sequence. Um, we'll talk about this here especially soon. These arteries and veins are just how the blood gets out to and how the blood gets back from the cortex.